two races remain till a champion is crowned. Welcome to the Birmingham Motor Speedway for the Kingsford 150. Twelve drivers are prepared to take on this very short track. As Kyle pushes on the pole, Brian Blaney starts second. Now here's a command to fire engines. Start your engine. Now that we got the command, let's take a look at some drivers to look out for. Kyle Busch is starting on the pole, just like we said. He has a very fast car today, and he's first in all three practices. And then the points leader coming in today's race, Trevor Bain, he's starting about mid-pack, and he has to have a good run to, in order to keep the points lead. But now let's take a look at your starting lineup for today's race. On the pole is Kyle Busch, and starting alongside him is Ryan Blaney. Row 2, you find Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Kevin Harvick. Row 3, you have Regan Smith and Kyle Larson. In row four, you have the points leader, Trevor Bain. Alongside him is Brian Scott. Row five, you have Paul Menard and Elliot Sadler. In the final row, you have Ty Dillon and Ryan Reed. Here's the green flag. Kyle Busch leads the field to green. Coming off of turn four, he clears Ryan Blaney for the lead. He leads lap one. Now we're going to go on board with Kyle Busch. Coming off turn four, he leads another lap. Now we're on lap three. Ryan Blaney falling close behind. Dale Jr. right behind them, trying to take third from Kevin Harvick. And there's a spin. The points leader's around. Into the outside wall. The caution's out on lap four out of 12. Tough luck for the points leader. Trevor Bain. Now here's the instant replay. Let's see what happened. Looks like he didn't get any contact. I have no idea what happened. He, the car just went right around on him. But tough luck. He was the point leader coming in today's race. He probably lost the points lead. But here's the restart. About halfway through the race, Kyle Busch leads the field back down. He, he gets the good advantage, but he gets loose. Coming off turn four, he loses many spots. Ryan Blaney to the lead. No, there's a crash coming off turn four. Kyle Larson on his lid. Regan Smith is involved as well. Caution's out once again on lap eight out of 12. Only three laps after the restart. Now there's three cars taken out of the race in total. Here's the instant replay of the wreck. Yeah, Regan Smith won the grass. I don't know if he got contact from Kyle Larson or not. But Larson got hit really hard from Regan Smith. He went over. No, it doesn't look like Smith got a tap from Kyle Larson. Regan Smith went through the grass, came right back up, hit Kyle Larson so hard that Larson went up on his lid, up on his roof. Tough luck for both of these guys racing about mid-pack. Here's the racer on lap 10 out of 12. Only three laps to go. Ryan Blaney leads the field back down to green. He's cleared through the lead. Three wide for second place with two laps to go. Kevin Harvick takes that spot. White flag's in the air. He's catching up to Ryan Blaney. Coming out to four. Blaney's loose, but he edges out Kevin Harvick for the win. What an exciting finish. Kevin Harvick finishes second. Ryan Blaney's the lead. Burn it down, Ryan Blaney. Does his burnout on the front straightaway. Look at that smoke. But he finishes first. So first was Ryan Blaney. Second in, uh, was Kevin Harvick. Harvick's had a tough season. He's wrecked twice this season. And he's got second twice, and in both of those races, he's lost in a photo finish. But uh, fourth is Dale Jr., fifth was Brian Scott. Brian Scott's had a good season so far. And sixth was Paul Menard. His bad season's continued. This is actually his best finish, I believe. Seventh was Elliot Sadler. Eighth was Ty Dillon. He hasn't had the greatest season so far either. Same with Ryan Reed. He finishes ninth in today's race. Tenth was uh, Regan Smith. Finishing eleventh was Kyle Larson. He went over upside down today's race. And finishing last was Trevor Bain. Came in the points leader, but he's probably lost the points lead. Yep, Trevor Bain fell all the way down to fifth. 
but uh, Ian Perez and Derek Cowan are tied for the lead. This is going to be a good one to see who wins the championship. Ozzy Bush behind by only one point. John Harper only three points behind them. Philip Watson came in the point leader. He's now nine points behind them. Tie for six speed films and FedEx Cup Series. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the finale coming about about a week. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe as usual. See you guys next time. Goodbye.